All right, so I am at a place with my PCB um, where I have um, I have made my uh, board outline and I've also routed all of my nets except for ground. Um, so everything that, except for the grounds are all routed. Um, and so I am ready to place a ground plane and finish up my PCB. So uh, to do that, I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna do, uh, use this rectangle button and uh, I'm just gonna assign it to my ground net, press okay. I'm also going to round my corners at 100 mils, and then I'll go up here and I'll click up here. I'll click down here, and it will place my ground plane. Um, I have this nice um, wide spacing here. Um, a lot of it, by default, it won't have that nice wide spacing, but if you go up here to shape and do global dynamic params, um, you can go to clearances and change all these to a value of 15. You might get an error that says not editable while in an interactive command, and that's okay. That just means you're trying to do something in Cadence while you're you're opening that window. So just hit done and do uh, and then do shape global dynamic params and change your clearances all to 15, and then also change thermal relief connects to 15 as well. Um, so when you press OK, that should increase the spaces um, between your ground plane and your traces. Um, and it should also increase the, uh, the width of the connect. So this is an example of a connect right here. Um, the, the, the connect between the plane and the, um, and the, the hole. Um, so I want to talk about why there's still some blue wires left. There's one right here, uh, it looks like. And there's also another one right, uh, right down here, connecting this one and this one. Um, and I have routed everything except for ground, um, I promise. <laughs> everything except for ground. I really thoroughly went through it and I made sure and I still have some blue wires. And so what these are is these are problems called ground islands. And so what we have here is we have a piece of copper um, on the top plane. And you'll notice that it doesn't actually connect to any other ground copper. So this is not actually grounded. Um, so this is why the, the, the blue wire is still here is because this is the actual ground and, and this is just an island floating that's supposed to be ground that's not actually ground. Um, this one up here happened for a little bit different of a reason. Um, it looks like this one is just a product of the pin not actually connecting to the plane well. Um, so I could fix this one really easily by just connecting it to the plane, uh, it looks like. So one of the easiest ways to fix um, this islanding issue uh, here, down here, um, is by making a separate ground plane along the bottom of the board. Um, so we can do that really easily just with the rectangle tool, and we'll select the bottom plane, and then we'll also assign it to the ground net as well. All right, so that blue line went away, and it looks like our board is finished.